this demonstration, we'll be looking at how can a cyber threat actor or penetration tester slash ethical hacker exploit the LLMNR and NBNS name resolution protocol uh, in a Windows environment in order to leverage credential harvesting as well as some lateral movement. So the way the attack carries out is we have a uh, would use some form of post exploitation tool in this case we are using a responder and we would listen on the events so we would be listening on the llmnr nbns as well as some other ones here multicast dns in this case and how it would look like on the victim side is the victim might be trying to access, let's say, uh, some form of network resource, network share. So they might essentially try to navigate through, uh, navigate to it and access their files. Now, what is happening in the background and what we don't see here is that there has been a lot of requests here, namely MDNS, LLMNR, so uh, NetBIOS is trying to send out broadcast messages, LLMNR is trying to send out multicast messages, assuming that the hosts are in a trusted network, in a trusted environment. So it is sending these probes that anyone can listen on, and that, that's where we have our, our responder that comes into play here. So switching back, we can see what has kind of taken place under the hood. Uh, we can see a couple of interesting events unfold here. So uh, number one is we can see that we have successfully poisoned the client name resolution requests and redirected it to the attacking machine, right? Our own machine. So we can see here the NTLM version two username as administrator. We can also see the NTLM hash and TLM version two in this case. So what a uh, cyber threat actor or a penetration tester could do, might, might do from here is they can essentially grab this hash and uh, they can maybe use it in an opacity hash attack. That would not really work in this case as we are dealing with a version two, but if it was a version one, they can use it in an NTLM relay attack, classic. Uh, however, in this case, they might need to crack that password. So. A uh, simple uh, next step from here might look like using something as uh, John the Ripper. We could uh, specify, uh, firstly, we, we make a file, copy that in ntlm v2 hashes.txt. And after we have the file, we can essentially use a tool known as uh, John the Ripper as a password cracker tool. And we can essentially specify our uh, dictionary attack word list. So in this case, I will specify that. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds, we have the password cracked. In this case, it was sysadmin at exclamation mark. We have the username and we have essentially compromised the attack, uh, the victim credentials using a, a form of network attack, uh, namely the LLMNR and NBNS name resolution protocols.